How many books is, is it going to take to stop? Nine mil? They don't know. Let's see, 22? They don't know. So even in this book doesn't say how many bullets does it going to take stop to stop her. I mean, how many books is it going to take to stop her? They don't know. How can this find out? Oh, you guys are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever number that we have here. We have two books uh, pretty much at the same thickness. Six of them, seven of them. Uh, we're gonna try a 22 and we're gonna try a nine mil full metal jacket and a hollow point. Then we're gonna try a 500 Smith and Wesson, um, 325 grain and a 700 grain. Then we're gonna try a five, five, six, full metal jacket and a green tip and then at the end we'll do some fun stuff too let's find out the first book 40 grain 22 long rifle with the Walter P22 kaboom kaboom I bet it did not go through Pistol is clear. Let's see the results. I don't think he didn't even went through the. Oh, I kind of got surprised. I'm like, oh, he went through both of them, but he did not. I don't have the knife with me, but that's okay. Come on, come on, come on, close. Let's get surprised. Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. Right there. Yeah? No. He went further, further, further. Oh, man. Oh, there are some notes in here. <laughs> Where is the projectile? Come on, 22. Don't keep me looking. It has to be somewhere over here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, nope. nope, there it is. That's your 22. The second test is 124 grain, full metal jacket. I'm using a Glock 19. Kaboom! GoPro is on and kaboom! We are clear. We have not even the first one. How many did it take, take to? Uh, one of them took to stop the 22. Come on, close. Let's find the 9mm millimeter right there. Pretty smashed up. That's your 9. So it took approximately the same thing. One book, about 80%, I would say, to stop a full metal jacket. Next test is a 9mm again, but hollow point. We have a 1911 Springfield Armory. It is a hollow point, about 130 grain. My ears, your ears. GoPro is recording. You ready? Yep. Let's shoot some boots. Kaboom, kaboom. <laughs> that flinch though. All right, now we're loaded. Kaboom! Kaboom! Books are on the dirt! Weapon is clear. What do you think? We'll say first book, definitely. And I'm right. We went through the both of them. So the, the full metal jacket went through one book and the hollow point went through two. Here you go guys. New stuff and here's the bullet. So he barely barely made it to the second one. I mean uh, <laughs> barely, but it did way better than the full metal jacket. 
I mean, I'm getting some results that I would never expect. A full metal jacket going through one book, not even the entire book, 80% of it. And a hollow point actually made it through the second one. It is what it is. Time for the big bastard. 325 grain. And I have three books behind it because I'm kind of confused that what happened from a full metal jacket 9 to a, a hollow point 9. So I have three books behind this action right here. Let's get the GoPro going. You ready? Yep. Time for a kaboom and kaboom. We are clear. Let's see what happened. Did he make it to the second one? I, I see a couple of them this year. <laughs> oh man, these things are interesting. You never know what's gonna happen. Okay, so this is our entry hole. Event completely through, yeah, completely through. I'm guessing this is our second one since when completely through. Lucky that I put the third one behind it, man. Ah, where's the bullet? Is that the pressure point? It could be. Oh, Jesus Christ. See what the pressure does. That's our 325 grain um, jacket. Uh, the lead should be somewhere around here. That's just a jacket. Maybe the lead went through the third one? I don't think so. That was just a pressure thing. I'm not good at reading books, but I'm looking at them. Don't tell me the lead went through this. No, this is just the pressure. Yep, nothing here. Maybe it's somewhere around here on the ground, which I don't see it. This is definitely not here. It has to be somewhere around here, dude. Not a Absolutely not a nothing. This is all we get from the 325 grain revolver. Time for um, 700 grain. Man, I gotta add up with these books. I don't trust these books. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. <laughs> all right, we have another three, and we're gonna try the 700 grain. Time for the 700 grain. I'm gonna shoot it one handed. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I should do that. Uh, why not? You ready? Yep. Fire in the book! <laughs> GoPro is dead. <laughs> uh, let's see if the books are alive. Revolver is clear. GoPro is stopped. Did they survive? Holy moly. Holy moly. I can see the lead. Get out of here, fly. Aren't you scared? That's our first one. We actually stopped on the first one. And we get the third one as well. There you go. Again, what I was talking about, the pressure, see what the pressure does? This is a thick goddamn book, look at it. Look at it sideways. That's how much pressure you're gonna feel, even if you have a body armor on. Let's get to our lead. So this is our first book. And this is some part of the jacket. Let me put it right here on the book. And then I see something flying on the ground. Right there. It got torn apart. There is another part. Pretty hot. Do we have any other stuff? Yep, we do. 
So basically that 500 grain lead just started tearing apart as soon as, as soon as, and I mean as soon as it hit this book, started tearing apart. Let's see if we can find more, yep. There's a little bit more. And I guess that's about it. Yep. So I took one book, a half, no, an entire book to stop a 700 grain. We have two more sets and we have two more rounds. Uh, 500, oh, I'm sorry, not 500. Um, 556 full metal jacket and a 556 green tip. And I'm gonna need more than two books to stop the green tip from the result that I see. Let's get back to shooting. Time for a full metal jacket 556. And I have uh, four books lined up instead of two that I started with since it's a 556. And I'm shooting this beautiful AR thanks to uh, Precise Armory for giving me a chance to have it. GoPro is ready. Are you ready? Yep. We are locked and loaded. Are you gonna? Are, is this gonna get through, go through uh, all four? I don't think so. Uh, it'll probably stop at the fourth one. Maybe on the third. Kaboom! Kaboom! It went through it, I guess. I think it did. is clear don't tell me went through all four he actually did that's the power of five five six going through one second third and fourth what do you want me to do put another put put the fifth one the fifth is gonna stop it why not let's do it Now we have five books. Is five of them enough to stop a 556? Five, five, and that's just a regular full metal jacket, not even a green tip. GoPro is on, eyes and ears, you ready? Yep. Again, full metal jacket. It's probably 55 grain or max 65 grain. I don't have the exact info. Final! No, nope, it did not go through all five. We are clear. GoPro stopped. Let's see what happened. Time to figure out what happened. There's two holes in this one. There is only one hole in this one. So I think this is the last one that stopped it. Yep. This is the fifth one that stopped our 556. Five, Where you at? Where you at? Can we find you? And my guess will be it just got torn apart but we have to have some uh, there it is oh man <laughs> look what happened oh shit sorry my lang for my language it's just burning me that's the 556 that we have so it took five of them to stop it now I gotta put a lot more for the green tip ah let's set them up Beautiful, spot tactical. GoPro is recording. It's time for a kaboom, kaboom. We are clear. I even forgot what our number number were, but we have circles, so this is nada nada, and we have another nada nada here. Oh, it's going sideways. Look at it. So we had, we did hit the first two. It came out right here. Went to the third one. Let's open it up. It's going exactly sideways. He made it to the fourth one, and the bullet should be somewhere 
around here and there it is so it took four of these books oh god damn it's burning me man I don't see a silk coin in the screen tips <laughs> it looks like a regular full metal jacket I don't remember who I got this ammo from but I'm gonna do some investigations I know what you think, you think I'm gonna end this video right now but the guys that have been watching me from the beginning of this channel they know what I'm about to do give me two seconds alright guys this as you saw on this last uh, shot that I had I got kind of confused on the screen tips that I'm using here's are the box and I don't remember where I got them from it was a very long time ago so let's find out is this thing see this is a green tip basically green tip has to be has to has a steel core in there he actually does I see that still but yeah yeah can you focus on it he actually does have a steel core I was actually kind of pissed off I thought these are like fake green tips but it's not but it was surprising green tip did less than the full metal jacket did anyways let's finish up these books the way that we always do let's get to la 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 a 12 gauge slug let's destroy some books you guys I apologize for all this mess it's end of the day and we're about to finish the day with the slug we have our GoPro recording and we have two books only and it's not gonna take more than them to stop this slug it's time for a kaboom kaboom fire up! <laughs> this is gonna be a beautiful slow motion and it's gonna be a hard work to clean them up Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.